So I'm gonna show you my all time favorites, meaning this is stuff that works on my hair. I use it over again. Some of it may be a little bit newer, but I like it. Anything we use in videos are products we actually like and love. So I'm gonna show you what works on my hair because I know that's one of our struggles is finding what works on my hair, but just to note, what works on my hair may not work on your hair, even if your hair looks similar to mine. So, this is my hair. What it's looking like, uh, stretched out. Um, it was in twist and a bun. Um, this is a blowout, but um, of course, this isn't giving you an idea of my true length because I had it twisted, it has frizzed up, and it was in a bun all day yesterday. So, um, so yeah, this is what I'm working with. I'm feeling Solange-ish, you know, with my blowout. And I feel like, you know, even after all of the shedding, my hair is still pretty healthy. So um, let's get started. I'm gonna go over like everything I use for every step of my hair care process. But first I'm gonna start with the tools. It's only right. I'm gonna start with one of my oldest, most favorite things ever. So um, this blow dry, y'all. That's how I got this look. It usually gets my edges all, not my edges, but my roots all nice and straight for a protective style, which is what is about to happen to this. It detangles and I have very minimal breakage when I use this blow dryer, but anything that comes out is usually like a shed hair. This thing right here is the bomb. I know lots of you have already uh, used it. I've seen you in comments in previous videos say that you use this. Let me know if you use this dryer. In any of the stuff I mentioned, let me know if you use this in the comments below or some of your favorites that you think I should try. Um, because again, like it takes a while to try a bunch of hair products because I only wash my hair maybe once a week or every other week, so yeah. So another styling tool that I use is my scalp massager you hear the vibrations oh my gosh that feels so good but um anywho use this in the shower and i've been growing my hair out and especially my edges so um this is a staple for hair growth your scalp is so important it increases the blood flow all of that good stuff these come in cute little pastel colors now too so i love my vanity planet scalp massager my Felicia Leatherwood detangling brush is my favorite detangling brush. I've been using uh, this brush, like the brush before this, like a prototype brush for years. I want to say maybe since 2013, 2012. The blow dryer I think I was using since 2014 or so. Um, I think I've been using maybe 2013, I think. So um, this is the final product, this brush right here. Whenever you see my wash days or anything I do, I love Felicia Leatherwood, I love this brush. So yes, if you don't have this brush, this is definitely my detangling staple. Yes, my Afro pick. So on to um, wash day products. So um, I have not found the perfect, perfect shampoo yet, but what I love right now is the Camille Rose Sweet Ginger Cleansing Rinse. I love her products. I love the way they smell. I love the branding. I love the coconut water line um, that she has. I love that line too, but this is what I've been using for shampoo and this. So um, I've been using this and I'm about halfway through with this Aunt Jackie's Flaxseed Recipes Purify Me Moisturizing Cold Wash Cleanser. Uh, I reviewed this line on Facebook Live um, it was my first impression of it, but I couldn't do this, of course, because I wasn't washing my hair. And I really like this co-wash as well. Like, it does not, neither one of these leaves my hair feeling stripped, which is important. So, these are cleansers that I like. Conditioner, Conditioner is, like, by far the most important thing to me. And a lot of you know we did a campaign with Ozzy the end of last year. And it was my first time trying out the products. And when we do campaigns, like, we have to try the products out for a while first for us. We personally have to try them and love them before we even do videos on them. So, um, this three minute miracle moist, this was the deep conditioner I used, um, in those videos, but it is now my main conditioner. I love the, um, the, the, uh, Ozzy moist conditioner. I ran out of that, but I started using this, like it's now in the pump bottle. It was in like this little squeezy bottle at first, but this y'all is the best conditioner for me right now so it has a ton of slip and moving on to my favorite treatment i did a campaign with clairol i thrive the i thrive line like a year and a half ago and i love the style soothe treatment and guys i've been using this 
ever since. Like, let me show you. Let me show you this. I have... I literally usually have three or more jars at one time. Like if I get down to like, I have to go buy the whole shelf because I use this treatment with everything. I'm probably going to talk about this product more than I talk about any other one. So this is great by itself, but it's even better whenever I use it with the three minute miracle. So I'll leave some of the three minute miracle on my hair and then I'll add this to it. And it's like the best deep conditioning treatment ever. And whenever I have deep, condi deep conditioners that don't work so well, I always put this on top. I actually use this with my hydrolyzed protein treatments. This is my go-to deep conditioner. So another treatment is, I do some do-it-yourself hot oil treatments, but I love the Lush Kinky, mm, the Lush Kinky hot oil treatment. It works great on my hair. Okay, now out of the shower, let's go on to leave-ins. My favorite leave-ins are thick and creamy leave-in. So this ORS Olive Oil for Naturals leave-in conditioning cream is butter whipped. It's super thick and yes, I love it. So it's one of my favorite ones um, I've been using lately. They sent me these earlier in the year and I love these. I really like this line actually. You saw this in one of my videos, the Design Essentials Coconut and Manoy Deep Moisture Milk Souffle. Um, I'm pretty much almost out of this like it's almost gone and I use it as a leave-in so yeah this was pretty good it's one of those thick creamy leave-ins and last but not least um last one one of my other favorites is this cream of nature with argon oil from Morocco argon buttermilk leave-in hair milk so this one's really thick um I'm about halfway through with this one kind of sort of halfway through so I've been using those three interchangeably so Yes, these are the leave-ins. They're thick and creamy leave-ins, and I like them. I still have so many products to get through. Oh my god! So now I'm gonna go to um, refreshing your hair. Refreshing your hair. So I love this spray. I like a lot of the stuff I use from that uh, Aunt Jackie's line on Facebook Live. This hydrating, silkening hair milk. This is great for for refreshing your hair and adding a little slip so that you can style it when you're in between wash days. Um, and of course like a do-it-yourself i need to really update you on my oils y'all i have oil 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 for every everything so um like using these two things to refresh my hair is perfect so now i'm gonna go on to like twist out products like what i would use after leave-ins and stuff what would i use as my final styling product for a twist out i would use the twist and shout um the twist and shout cream i would also use off the blah, blah. Guys, I'm trying to go through this so fast I'm messing up on talking. Um, so after I would use my leave-in, this Blueberry Bliss is one of the products I would use. And y'all, I get so many compliments on how good my hair smells whenever I use this product line. Um, I like their leave-in, but this is my favorite product from the Blueberry Bliss line for curls. So this is um, one of my favorite curls products. And now that I'm on the topic of Blueberry Bliss, even though this isn't what I use on a twist out, the um, Edge Control Paste. Their uh, control paste is great for edges. So these are my favorite products from curls. You just saw this in my last video. I would use this on a twist out or even a roller set. It leaves my hair shiny and defined. Another line I'm in love with is Soul Tanicles. So this is the Coil Defining Cream and the Creamy Slick 7 Day Styler. This is actually from my shower because I ran out of so many of her products. I love the Knot Sauce and I love her sprays, the um, Kink Drinks. Like I love so many of the products from Sultanicals. I believe this line is great for kinky hair, kinky curly hair. I love this line. I love her products. So yeah, they speak for themselves. Love, 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 love Sultanicals. Um... Another thing is, uh, now I'll transition this from, like, this is wash and go slash twist out. This is what I actually used in the Facebook Live video. One of the things, it's the flaxseed elongating curling gel from Unjackies. And these products are really affordable. They're like, like, every product's like $6.99. And I'm almost out of this jar, actually. I maybe have one or two more styles out of it. And I think this will be great for wash and go and for a twist out and when i tell you guys my twists were actually elongated like there wasn't a lot of shrinkage um well it was still shrinkage but i mean it wasn't like a ton of shrinkage like with other products but this was a great product and now that we're on kind of gels my favorite gels of course are eco styler gels um i use like this thing is 
getting down to the bottom the olive oil one and I like the coconut oil one so far and I really want to try the Jamaican black castor oil slash flaxseed one but I couldn't find it in the store and I haven't ordered it online maybe I'll do like video with these two see how they work on my washing goes but I like this one a lot and of course I love this one and last but not least this is way shorter than 30 minutes um if I were to do a roller set I would use these products a lot of body the um wrap me foaming mousse and this is one of my new favorites that I use in my seven day wash and go video is the moisturize me curl and style milk this is lovely these work great on oh, using perm rods flexi rods any like roller set type style so I hope like y'all I tried to not make this video 30 minutes because it was 30 minutes for real for real when I first recorded it but um, that's what I'm using that is what works for me those are products that I use over and over and over you will see them in videos but I do get new products and I'm gonna be trying like I just got maybe three boxes of products in from different companies so when I try things like I made like one product from the line and same with my sisters like we may get you know the same line and they will like a product that I don't like out of the line so it all depends on your hair even if your hair looks very similar to mine and may not like any of these products or may love it so let me know what you are loving down below and let me know if you use any of the stuff i've recommended before and if it worked and all of that good stuff i hope you love this video um i look forward to doing some more facebook live videos but this is about to go into a protective style so um yeah this is my hair it feels nice and healthy so um yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, peace out sisters.